Welcome Cancer to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 30th of October for the Sun or the Ascendant. An inspirational, if provocative, opposition between Mars and Jupiter reached its high point on Friday last week, but they're still in contact with one another through to the middle of this week. This could give you quite the push to join in and be more proactive when it comes to your social situation or if there's someone you're strongly drawn to in terms of a, a, a romantic connection that and also Venus in an electric buzzy link with Uranus uh, which goes through the first half of this week that can really uh, give you uh, an impulse to be a little bit edgier and perhaps live in the moment. So if someone suggests something quite spontaneously, whether it's a social meetup, a date, or just doing something that's fun, but the suggestion is really off the cuff, even if you have ordinarily quite a structure to your situation, you might find it quite liberating doing something different. If you're in a long-term relationship, Uranus and Venus in a trine is a great opportunity to try to rekindle that spark that you had when you first met. How can you do that? I think it is by being more spontaneous. We all get caught up with the daily routine, with the domestic chores, with looking after the children, our work, or our personal interests. But Uranus pushes us to look at things in a fresh way, an authentic way. And it's in the part of your situation to do with your future. So relating is Venus, and in the third house, it is about saying how we feel. So even if you feel that you want to be a little bit more honest and push uh, some issues that you may have into the open, Mars and Jupiter will help you to have the confidence and oomph to do this. Once Venus comes into an opposition with Neptune, which becomes exact on Friday, actually the air can be cleared and there could be a, a lovely atmosphere between you and yours. And if you can go and do something, travel somewhere, um, or go and watch a movie, or go for a, a, to a health spa, or a swim, or a walk in the countryside, it really could be an absolutely lovely experience between you. Now Saturn also goes direct this week. Think back to the middle of June. If you have found that your desire to expand your world, change your world in some way, uh, or even uh, take on uh, some new studies, has really been stymied in, in ways that have been very hard to quantify. You're going to find that all that resistance just seems to fall away somewhat. And even if there are challenges, they're ones that you can work with to expand and bring greater knowledge into your world. There is a quarter moon at the end of this week. It is urging you not to be too frivolous with uh, money, but I think that's a bit of a thing for many of us at the moment. But if you can afford a treat, you may want to spoil a loved one. Now, I'd just like to remind you, if you've yet to order your year 2024 forecast, transit, report. Transits is where the planets in the sky interact with your natal positions that creates an influence that's totally unique for each person. If you'd like to order it, you'll get the rest of this year free plus 30% off and get your life roadmap, your character analysis report, which will give you a much more intimate understanding of the patterns that have played out in your life so far and learn how to work with them more successfully future forwards. Please see the link below for more.